It is such an honor and joy to stand before you all on a day such as this. And it's been a, a day long in the making, shall I say, and I'm sure our winners tonight will acknowledge that. Yamuka Zambia is a business plan competition that is steadily but dramatically altering Zambia's entrepreneurial makeup by inspiring ambitious businessmen and women to elevate their game and make their ideas a reality, creating employment and moving the economy to greater heights in this process. There exists in this nation a silent generation of business heroes and potential industrialists, and I don't say this lightly. Yamuka Zambia is mandated to identify these heroes and help them put in place a tactical plan to expand the borders of their business and tap into new markets that the Zambian economy needs. Yamuka Zambia is changing deep-seated misconceptions about entrepreneurship in Zambia for the better, and I hope this will continue. Changing mindsets is never easy, it takes a long time, but our winners and the, the process of Nyambuka Zambia and all the applicants to start with have demonstrated that they, they are willing to shift their mindset and see entrepreneurship as the first positive choice. Ladies and gentlemen, we have had brilliant ideas ranging from e-commerce to hydroponics, all of which have the potential to generate large sums of revenue and drive Zambia's economy to new heights. During the course of the competition, Yamuka Zambia provided all competitors with vital support and technical expertise through business planning workshops, coaching and mentoring sessions, and many opportunities to network and connect with the wider world of business. So everyone is a winner. No one walks away from Yamuka Zambia without gaining something that shifts their fulcrum or their potential to the next level. And again, it's not easy, but we have to work towards that purpose. So everyone is a winner, with best talents being substantially rewarded for their innovative business ideas and plans. And that is what we will see tonight. The best of all the people that have come through Namuga. And there are more still behind. To, I want to say that I believe this successful initiative has been a great game changer in Zambia. However, I would be really remiss if I did not mention the groups that partnered with Nyamuka to make this competition the success it is. Firstly, to our corporate sponsors, Zanaco, I thank you very much for believing in us and taking the faith and riding right the way through from the beginning to the end. Focus Finance, I thank you for also sponsoring us and being sponsors of the game plan. To Cavmont, I thank you for being sponsors and supporters of the National Business Competition, I mean the National Business Conference that we had, and also pushing us to make sure that we make entrepreneurship a success through understanding your needs as well as the needs of entrepreneurs. I also want to say to the entrepreneurs and the Nyamuka champions who were judges and mentors to our contestants, who shared their expertise and personal experiences. We salute you for your desire to see a vibrant Zambian economy powered by the inventiveness of the next generation of businessmen and women. I salute you, you entrepreneurs and champions that have made Nyamuka Zambia. I would also like to acknowledge and thank my team. Small though it is, it packs an awesome punch, especially Namaya's left hook. <laughs> I really thank you for putting in the hours and showing the same spirit of enterprise that we expect in others. And it's called entrepreneurship, but that's as vital as entrepreneurship. We must act and be the change as much as we are expecting it out there. So thank you very much, my team. And finally, to the finalists and the runners-up, I'm glad you did not let fear hold you back from reaching for the stars. Life is too short to not go after what you want. I want you to know we don't defeat the reaper through longevity. We defeat the reaper by living well, by living fully, by maximizing our potential for 
for the reaper is going to come for all of us eventually. The question of relevance is, what do we do between the time we are born and the time he shows up? Because when he shows up, it's too late to do all the things that you've always had a burning desire to do. It takes guts, and your present today demonstrates you possess the guts to surprise the reaper, who was perhaps expecting you to sit, be sitting in an armchair when he came, watching repeats of the game plan show. I hope not. Seriously, I salute you all winners that you've done very well. And I am personally proud of you all, really personally proud of you all. And to the runners up, I say, we will not leave you in peace. We want to you to be in business too. So watch this space. And I thank the runners up tonight as well. And finally, I want to make the heartiest congratulations to all the finalists, the winners of tonight, for your dedication, hard work, and determination. And you deserve the highest of praise. You were unpolished diamonds. And when we saw you on the game plan show, and the way you could talk about gross profit margins, balance sheets, and God knows what else, I couldn't believe my ears and my eyes. You, You've done so well, so proud, and I'm really proud of you. Thank you. And I really applaud you. Let me also point out that how you proceed as winners from this point is also very critical. The running battles against critics, naysayers, doubters will not end. You must persevere and push through all forms of negativity to achieve what you know you are capable of. Do not pander to the know-it-all sentiments of cynics. To echo the words of Steve Jobs, who people know as the uh, founder of Apple, your time is limited, so don't waste it living someone else's life. Don't be trapped by dogma, which is living with the results of other people's thinking. Don't let the noise of others' opinions drown out your own inner voice. And most important, have the courage to follow your heart and intuition. They somehow already know what you truly want to become. Everything else is secondary. History rarely yields to one person, but think and never forget what happens when it does. That can be you. That should be you. That must be you. Before I finish, I would like to, for all the finalists and the semi-finalists in this room, to stand up as we give them a resounding sound of applause. Round of applause. Thank you. I'm very pleased to be here this evening at this very important event to celebrate winners and the success of the inaugural Nyamuka Zambia Business Plan Competition Grand Finale. Indeed, we have come to the end of the journey of the first round of the Business Plan Competition, which has been a success, and we look forward to the next round in 2016. Zambia National Commercial Bank PLC is proud to be associated with Nyamuka Zambia as the anchor sponsor of the first round of the business competition. Our involvement in the business plan competition arose from the importance the bank attaches to small and medium enterprises, or SMEs. We are honored to anchor sponsors of such a dynamic business plan competition, and we are delighted with the results that, we've brought, that have brought us to this grand finale. Through Nyamuka Zambia, entrepreneurial talent has been identified and nurtured as, evidence, as evidenced from the feedback received from the participants. Looking back, we are proud that we made a choice to support Nyamuka Zambia with sponsorship valued at 
thousand kwacha that we eventually translate into job and wealth creation. This support demonstrates Zanaco's commitment to promoting development of entrepreneurship in Zambia. Entrepreneurs are the drivers of the economy and it is through them that Zambia will achieve maximum economic growth. After a lot of hard work by entrepreneurs and the rigorous assessment process, the grand finale is now here. To all applicants, I wish to say you are all winners because success of every business starts with a plan, especially one that has been written down. For those that were not selected in the various stages, it is not time to lose heart, but fight on to improve your business. For the winners, I say, stay focused and aim higher. Let us have success stories that will encourage other entrepreneurs in the country. To all stakeholders represented here, it is time to celebrate the success so far. But at the same time, remember that we need to continue with a noble cause and grow Zambia's entrepreneurs to greater heights. To every entrepreneur, Zanako wishes you all great success in your business. Let us all join hands in building Zambia through entrepreneurship. Ladies and gentlemen, I thank you all for listening. What was presented to us as the judges was absolutely amazing. The 20 finalists that came forward and uh, uh, talked about their ideas, demonstrated what they would like to do, showed that they had formalized in a, in, uh, into a business plan how they intended to do it, was nothing short of amazing. And I'm sure that the Nyamuka Zambia team did a lot to support the entrepreneurs to get to that point. And I think that's been amazing. This is an amazing program, and it's something we really need to build on and do more of. So when it got down to the 20, everybody demonstrated their ideas. I would say this, I would say everybody is a winner, because it was very difficult to pick between the various ideas that came forward. Having been an entrepreneur, or being an entrepreneur my, myself, I know how difficult it is to get started when you're young, when you're trying to get going, you think the whole world is against you. And in many respects it is, because you've got to force your way into a space where people will believe in you and support you. And I think that's what entrepreneurs are looking for. This business plan competition was not just a business plan competition. It was people that were looking for support to promote their ideas, to enable them and their families to have better lives and to grow, uh, uh, to take part in the growth of the economy of Zambia. These young people are the future of Zambia. They are the economy of tomorrow. And I think all of us that are in business have a responsibility to support the young entrepreneurs, to see how we can help them develop their ideas, to become part of the economy of Zambia in a formalized way so that everybody is a winner, so that the entrepreneur is a winner, so that the, uh, people that they employ are winners, that the economy of Zambia grows, and through that growth we can create wealth and prosperity in Zambia. Now we would like to hear from some runners-up, and we have two, I am told, I don't know if the third one has arrived yet, but we have two runners-up. Um, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, uh, distinguished guests. My name is Chama Bob, and um, I was the runner-up for the Nyamuka Zambia business plan competition. Um, I think that I would like to take this opportunity to thank PEP Zambia and Nyamuka Zambia for giving us entrepreneurs, young startups in Zambia, the opportunity 
uh, to really um, express ourselves and express our visions, um, our businesses, our passions. It was um, a very interesting, heart-wrenching, happy, sad, um, all emotions I could think of journey, but certainly well worth it. Um, Nyamuka Zambia, for me personally, gave me um, the opportunity to really think about my business, to really think about what it is that I wanted to achieve and just put everything into perspective for me. And I think that sometimes um, as a business person, you are very passionate about what it is that you're trying to achieve and um, you, you tend to overlook some of the key things that make a business successful. And I think that Namuka Zambia gave me the opportunity to really look at my business model in totality. It made me um, have no choice but to look at the numbers, which are boring <laughs> and difficult. But having done all that, I think that it has given me the confidence um, to go out um, and really try and sell my business simply because I understand my business better now. My name is Chitan Narodwa. Um, I want to say that the road has been very tough um, getting this far, but I think Yamuka leaves me with um, some level of confidence in what I believe in. Honestly, out of 500 people that submitted and I was among the top skisty, is something that I take home with. Uh, what I want to say about Yamuka is that I think this is a good model for our country because it's different from other competitions where they just invite you to come and apply for the money. But for Nyamuka, they carry you along with all the technical support, with all the necessary support, uh, the supervisors that we worked with, uh, the advisors that we worked with. I think to me, that is the way we should go as a country. I look forward to a day where TV and tabloids will be littered with this kind of information for the young people to feed their minds on. So I salute the I salute the organizers, and I want to salute also and congratulate my colleagues who are seated in the high table here. I wish them the very best. Thank you. You deserve congratulations as well. Like we said, no one walks away with nothing in Yamuka Zambia. Now, we would like to invite the head of DFID in Zambia, and that's Emma Donnelly, to come forward and give us her remarks. Let's give her a round of applause as she comes up. I'm excited to be here tonight, as I've said. I want to find out who the winners are. I'm also very proud um, that the UK government, through the Department for International Development, has been able to support the Niamuka business plan as part of the private enterprise program that we um, run here in Zambia. Many of us in this room and on the high table in particular spend an awful lot of time and energy thinking about what it takes to bring about economic transformation in a country like Zambia and piles and piles of books and tomes and papers have been written about the need for investment in infrastructure, access to finance, sound microeconomic management, clear and transparent regulatory environment, and all the rest. But at the end of the day, all of those things need to be in place to support you in this room and people like you to set up businesses, make a profit, create jobs, employ people, allow people to go and make a good living for themselves and their family. So on the one hand, yes, economic transformation and poverty reduction is very, very complicated. But on the other hand, it's also very, very simple. It's about giving people like you the, the freedom and the tools you need to do 
to make your dreams a reality and to bring your business to life. Not all of your businesses will succeed. Um, you will all have to overcome many challenges. Some of your businesses will fail. Some of your ideas will fail many times. And you'll have to get through many tough days with a lot of work where you start working early in the morning and go to bed late at night and wonder if it's all worth it. Um, but you can start worrying about that tomorrow. For tonight, please feel really, really proud of yourselves that you've come this far. We're all very excited for you. And as I've said twice already, I can't wait to find out who the winners are. Thank you very much. once in a lifetime opportunity 
that is being offered to you. You are also role models to the generation behind you, and we hope you will fulfill that role too. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, Nyamuka Zambia would not have done what it has on their own. And I therefore also want to applaud all those entrepreneurs and champions who have given Nyamuka Zambia their time, passion, and support because they believed in the initiative. We thank you all. And in doing so, they are expressing their belief in the ability of ordinary people to seize opportunities and to create businesses that can build jobs and wealth for the country. These successful entrepreneurs have also been willing to share the, their expertise and experience to help lift those coming up behind them. I wish to take this opportunity, therefore, to direct the Minister of Education, Science, Vocational Training and Air Education to embark on the revamping the Junior Engineering Technical Society, uh, in short, JETS, in our country. It is important to generate future engineering talent, particularly that JETS engage students in a variety of educational programs that increase their awareness of what engineers do and show how subjects such as mathematics and science are used to make tangible differences in the world. It is high time as a country to open the students' minds to their own career possibilities by removing social barriers and negative attitudes about engineering. This can help build a strong foundation in the entrepreneurship development by making sure that our engineering programs respond to the needs of our local entrepreneurs. And there is not engineering alone. My government believes that it is the responsibility of all of us to build the future of our nation through an entrepreneurial culture and attitude that is capable of taking risks and exercising leadership. It is a real pleasure to applaud, encourage, and support initiatives like Nyamuka Zambia that are truly on the side of the entrepreneur. And as I end my remarks, I want to once again thank Nyamuka Zambia for bringing together a remarkable program that will foster a community of and a program that underscores the vital importance of entrepreneurship and innovation to our national economy, job creation, and the generation of equitable wealth to help our citizens move out of poverty. I thank Yamuka Zambia and its sponsors for this gallant effort. Let us continue to work together for the good of every Zambian citizen. Entrepreneurial development is one of the ways of economic empowerment, and as such, government shall continue to support efforts aimed at making life more meaningful to every Zambian. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, let me take this opportunity once again 
to mention that the economic challenges that have affected the many countries of the world during this period, including Zambia, should be looked at as an opportunity for all of us Zambians to continuously work hard and not lose the development path the government is taking. Indeed, this will come to pass. It's a phase that we are currently are passing through. Finally, to the winners, I wish you the best of luck for your success in the future and look forward to perhaps seeing you at this table supporting the others behind you. Let us develop Zambia and promote her economic fortunes through entrepreneurship. Congratulations once again to the winners and may God bless you. Ladies and gentlemen, the moment is finally here. We will start the countdown, revealing who the top five are, starting with number five. And please turn your attention to the screens now. May I invite Mianda, Mianda Katiwa, who is the Nyamuka Zambia champion and moderator for the Game Plan Show, to come and present the fifth prize to Matthias. Let's give Matthias a big hand. Please come forward, Matthias. Thank you so much. Uh, it's a fantastic honor to be here, and uh, I'm very, very moved by uh, this incredible moment and uh, by the confidence in our business and by um, all the hard work that myself and my team and the Nyamuka team and everyone have uh, uh, put in to make this possible and uh, I thank you very very much and I hope you will all see our products uh, even more now in the future and uh, as a way of replacing charcoal with a sustainable fuel. Thank you very much. And so the products that Matthias was talking about are energy pellets from waste biomass. Cassandra Putin gets the fourth prize, 150 million by Marco Donnell to Marco Donnell. I can breathe. Wow. Um, I am overwhelmed. Uh, thank you. I'm really honored by this. Thank you. So that's the fourth prize of 150,000 kwacha going to Cassandra Mutine. And she's into consumer services, online grocery delivery service. Another big round of applause for Cassandra. Congratulations. very much. Um, I'd like to thank my parents for encouraging me to follow my dreams no matter how crazy they were or are and even if and supporting me even if they didn't really realize how I was going to achieve them. <laughs> Tawani is into fashion and design garments and jewelry accessories. Another big hand for Tawani Clark. 175,000 kwacha. Congratulations. Uh, thank you very much for giving me this opportunity, Pep Zambia, to, to be able to uh, get a, uh, an idea from the rural part of Zambia, to be able to give people an opportunity to aspire to be part and parcel of the whole global market chain. Thank you very much. 
And so Alan is into agro processing honey, honey products. He's going to be making honey sweets. And to present the prize to Alan, I'd like to invite Emma Donnelly to make the presentation. Let's give another big hand to Alan. Fasten your seatbelts, ladies and gentlemen, because we're now going to announce the winner of the grand prize of the inaugural Yamuka Zambia. And the winner, as we said, is Judy Siambango. And she's also into agro-processing, dried sliced mangoes. The big hand, a very big hand. Now, I don't know how it happened, but the guest of honor is supposed to hand that check to all of you, and is supposed to hold it at the same time somehow. Uh, perhaps two or three of you can step up and collect on behalf of the others and then we can gather and take a picture with it, all of us. Let's keep that hand going for all the finalists who each get 75,000 kwacha. Congratulations to you. I would say we are all winners in Yamoka Zambia. And thank you very much to our guest of honor, What an experience. This is certainly something you will never forget, or at least not soon. So these are the top 20 ladies and gentlemen. I think they deserve another round of applause. I'm not sure if it will be the last tonight. Congratulations, you've done our country proud. And we look forward to the development of your ideas and projects. I think the first thing you would have noticed is that 60% of the top five winners are women. And one of the things we try to do on the program is make sure we target, as we look at inclusive growth in Zambia, that we make sure we target women, the youth, and those who are excluded. Because the purpose of PEPZ is very simple. It's a DFID funded program. That's the Department for International Development of the UK government. And the sole purpose of PEP Zambia, the program, is to look at inclusive growth in Zambia. But in looking at inclusive growth, we have to look at how we target all aspects, all members of society. So that's what PEP Zambia is all about. Now, I'm not going to go into a long speech. It's meant to be a vote of thanks about the, this particular event. But really, PEP Zambia has four components. We have a business linkages program that aims to link small Zambian businesses with the larger businesses. We have a business development services component that aims to provide support to small businesses. And we have an impact investment fund that specifically looks to provide finance, basically putting money where our mouth is. And of course, we have the business plan competition, which is why we're here today. But really, it's not just the winners. It's the whole process. It's the journey getting there. Thank you to everybody. And I, and I use the word friends of Pep Zambia, rather than just finalists, entrepreneurs, advisors, judges, DFID. It's friends of Pep Zambia. Thank you very much, everyone, and God bless. Yeah.